This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Quechua NH Escape 500 backpack, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So Quechua, which is I believe how you say it, if not, let me know in the comments, is one of Decathlon's brands. It's a you know budget gear manufacturer, but we've had good luck with their gear in the past. So I was very excited to give this one a try. So we have a couple materials to work with. The main material and the lining is 100% polyester. It is pretty lightweight and it doesn't hold its shape super well when the pack isn't fully packed. Um, not the end of the world, but if you don't have a lot in here, it can kind of look a little, a little frumpy. And then we also have, let me make sure I get my notes right here, a hundred percent, a thousand percent polyurethane on the webbing and the coating. So as you can see on this bottom part of the pack here, it is a different material. This is more uh, durable and it's also more water resistant. So if you set your pack on the ground, it's not going to get torn up and it's also a little bit more water resistant. So if you set it on the ground and it's wet, you have that extra protection. So the zippers on this thing are from SBS, which we've had or we've used in the past on different packs and they're not as durable as say something like YKK, but I've actually had no issues with these zippers at all. No issues with stuff getting caught in them, no issues with them coming off the track or anything like that. Very happy to report no problems. I will say the zipper pulls can be hard to kind of grab onto at times. They're just kind of like a, like a piece of paracord with a hard plastic end or sheet shrunk plastic on the end there. So it can be hard to kind of like grab onto it. It's not very big. It's not really the quality. It's just, I guess, more so the design. So moving to the back here, both of the buckles on the uh, hip belt here and the sternum strap are from Duralon, which again is a brand that I don't really have as much experience with but they work, I haven't had any issues with them, so nothing really to report there either. So on either side, we've got these water bottle pockets, they're made of mesh and they're really huge. So I've got my 32 ounce Nalgene, I'll just poke the head out there, and you can see I've got quite a bit of space in here. So if you have a bigger Nalgene, you might be able to fit that inside there, but also if you don't wanna do a water bottle, so I'll pull that out and flip over to the other side here. I've got just a little mini travel tripod in here. I've got another travel tripod at home that I was using with this thing and it fit inside there perfectly and it's nice and secure in there. Flipping to the front here, we have this little pig nose so you can attach some gear on the front. Didn't use it a bunch, but it's nice to have if you wanna attach some shoes or something. And then we have a top handle here, pretty ample padding there to hold onto. And we have another small handle right here, which I really dig because then you can hang it up on a hook or something like that. It's kind of hard to hang this big one on a hook because it's so big and beefy, but the small one works just fine. So moving on to the harness system, starting with the back panel here. We got pretty ample padding, as you can see, the comparison between this area without padding and the padding there. A lot of padding, and we've also got this mesh to keep things cool. I'm not really sure why there's a big area in the middle where there isn't any padding. I don't know if that's to try and promote some sort of airflow or to like save uh, like a cost cutting measure, but you can feel it a little bit, especially when you don't have a laptop in here to act as like your rigid back panel because the materials are pretty lightweight, which is nice. But when there's no laptop, it just kind of like um, doesn't fully really fold. You can just feel it. It's not uncomfortable, but I think it would be more comfortable if it had padding in the middle. We do have a luggage pass through down here, kind of flimsy, but it gets the job done. No complaints there. Moving these shoulder straps down, you can see they curve quite a bit. So they kind of conform to your body depending on your body shape. They're kind of tight up here at the top, which I'll show you when I put this pack on. But overall pretty comfortable. You've got that nice padding and the aeration similar to the back panel. The sternum strap here is on a rail, as you can see. It is a little bit loose for my liking, so occasionally it would get adjusted and I don't have to readjust it. But overall, pretty happy with you know how it operates. The small pocket right here, it's little tag right there indicates that it should be for our phone, I think, but uh, my phone doesn't fit in there. I have an iPhone 11, so I typically use this for a pair of headphones or a snack. And then moving down to the bottom here, we have a very minimalistic hip belt. No padding and no aeration on it, so it can dig in a little bit. If you're wearing a coat, it's not a big deal, but if you're just wearing a t-shirt, it does dig in, but it helps distribute the weight, which is nice, but can be a little uncomfortable. 
So as you can see, I'm all hooked up now. I'm ready to go. In this uh, hip belt, there's, as, you, as I mentioned, there's no padding, no aeration. I'm wearing a thick Carhartt sweater right now, so it's pretty comfortable. But in my experience, right now it's springtime in Michigan, so we're going from cold to warm. So I have this on today. But a few days ago, I had a t-shirt on, and this was not a very comfortable thing to wear. Just, I mean, I understand to save weight, to save some costs. They made it like this, but it can be a little bit uncomfortable. For the most part, the rest of the harness system is pretty comfortable, at least for my body type. It is a little bit tight here at the top, and maybe that wouldn't be the case for you. I don't think I have a particularly big neck or anything like that, but it's just a little bit tight here at the top. But it's not uncomfortable. You can just kind of feel it, especially if you have a bigger shirt on like this. So when I'm wearing a t-shirt, it's not as tight up here because there's not material being pushed, but the hip belt does dig in a little bit. So depending on what you're wearing and how you're wearing it, this pack is going to be a little bit D more comfortable or uncomfortable. So when it comes to secondary compartments, this pack has a lot of them. So we'll jump right in. This is probably the most prominent one here on the front of the pack. It almost opens kind of like a clamshell opening, flops open like that. Nothing on the lid here, but we do have some mesh organization here. Big pocket here, just have my wallet stowed in there. And then two pen pockets. These are pretty big. You might be able to fit a stylus in there depending on what stylus you have. And then above that, we have a zippered compartment. I don't have anything stowed in here right now just because I didn't really have anything to put in there, but there is a key leash here. My keys are on my wallet on the Chum Surf Shorts here, so I didn't need to use it. But if you want to keep like a house key on here or if you're staying somewhere like Airbnb where you have a physical key, you could throw that on there. It's pretty easy to manipulate, but it, it doesn't like open easily, so it's not going to fall off. It's not very long, so you're not going to be able to open the door without like taking the bag off and, you know, reaching for it or just taking the key off but pretty happy with this front pocket you can fit a lot of gear in here especially if you're you know trying to one bag and taking this on the plane or maybe you put some more of your easy to access items in this pocket and you have quick access to them so there is a little kind of hidden pocket on the front here you can see the little zipper pull kind of poking out there so not a huge pocket but it you know fits my hand pretty well my hand about that big um, I have just this little Bellroy passport in there right now. If you're going somewhere where you're not super, like if you're walking through the airport, you could keep your passport in there, but you probably want to keep it somewhere more safe or secure if you're, you know, walking through the city. But this is just kind of in there to show you that it would fit in there if you're somewhere safe, or this is like the kind of flat item that does well inside there. But if you're trying to put it somewhere that's a little bit more hidden, but you want quick access to it, there is a hidden pocket here kind of behind, I know the t this is sticking out right now, I think because I pulled the water bottle pocket out, but you can kind of stick that underneath there like that. A little hidden pocket right here. It's again, good for flat items and it just slots in there. It's not, you know, perfect. Someone could, you know, easily see that and snag your stuff. I will say when you have a water bottle or something larger in there, it kind of hides it a bit better. There's nothing in there because I took it out, but you could stow up, you know, a phone in there, your passport, a wallet, or just something that's not super valuable and then stow this on the inside. But that is something you could put there. Moving back to the front side here, underneath this pig nose, we have this little pocket here. And I don't know exactly what this is for, but it is like the perfect size to stow a pair of sunglasses, especially if you have a hard case. So I have a pair of glasses that I'm supposed to wear, but I hardly ever wear. And when I was carrying those around, not wearing them, the, the case fit perfectly in here. It's like a hard case and it fits perfect. I will say that I did have a few times when I just had my glasses in there by themselves. I had the pack sitting up and then like when I opened it, I wasn't really paying attention. And then this isn't as heavy, but the glasses case was and the glasses fell out. So if you pay, you know, gotta pay attention when you're opening it, um, but nice little spot to stow some sunglasses. On the top here, we have another, well, not really another, but the really only quick use pocket because it's on the top, easy to access. Just a big open pocket. Got my phone shoved in there right now, iPhone 11 with a case. No organization or anything inside there, but it's a good spot to stow your wallet if you're gonna be doing things where you need it frequently or your phone if you don't wanna have it in your pocket. On the back side here, we have a laptop compartment, and I should mention that there is a little locking mechanism there on this zipper, so you can throw those underneath there for a deterrent of theft. Not foolproof, but it gets the job done. Open this up, and we have, as you can see, two little sliders here. This one here will fit up to a 17-inch laptop. This is a 15-inch, you can see lots of room to spare. Then up to a 15-inch tablet will fit here. This is a little bit of soft on this side, so you could put it in there without a case. I wouldn't do that, but you can do it if you want to. 
quite a bit of space to work with in the middle here, and then a zippered compartment up here, so you can it's mesh, so you can see what's inside of it. Throw your laptop charger in there, and then every time you open this, you know what's right there, and you didn't leave without it. So it's time for the granddaddy of them all, the main compartment. So we have a clamshell style opening here. And I should mention that as you can see, this zipper goes around a lot of these pockets. There's one, two, three pockets here. If you load those pockets up, when you go to open this, this thing is gonna wanna flop one way or the other. I've taken all the stuff out, so it's not flopping right now, but it could, like if you had a bunch of heavy stuff in there and it could flop and it was electronics or something, that would not be good. So as you can see at right now, I've just got three big packing cubes in here to kind of show what you're able to fit. If you watch a lot of pack hacker videos, we use these packing cubes a ton. So you should kind of know their relative size. You've got a large or an XL packing cube, depending how you look at it. And then two small or mediums, again, depending how you look at it. But there was a lot of room to spare. I think I could have fit those and then another set just like that on top of them. It would have been a little bit tight, but I think it would have fit. So not a ton of organization in this main compartment. And I kind of like it better that way. We have so many pockets on the outside that you kind of, everything can kind of have a home out there. And then once it comes in here, use your packing cubes to do your clothes, maybe a tech pouch, toiletry pouch. And then there's a tiny bit of organization, which we're about to go over. On the lid here, again, we have a zippered mesh compartment so you can see what's in there. If you don't like to have a smaller packing cube, but you still want somewhere to put your socks and underwear, they'll fit inside here, at least for a smaller trip. But Whatever you put in there, you can see, which I dig, so you know it's there. Things that you wanna have your eyes on at all times, you can throw those inside there. Moving over here to the bucket, we have this little um, pocket here on this side, uh, a liner pocket, I should say, which is nice for just kind of locking things down. Um, not, I don't know, like a use that you need to use it for, but I typically would put my tech pouch in here just so I know where that is. Not necessarily because it's more secure, it's just I wanna know where that is so I know where my chargers are, I know where all this stuff is, I can grab it and I can go. On this side, we have another little mesh pocket here, and it has, as you can see there, it's got a little battery on it with a cable. So this is meant to put your battery bank inside of here, and then run the cable up, and right here, there is a small little hole, as you can see my fingers poking through there, so you could run a cable through, and then you could either put that, if you have a long enough cable, put your phone in your pocket while it's charging, or you could put it into this water bottle pocket here on the side so you have access to it, and it's not buried away. Typically, I don't like that feature. It's just not something that I use. I normally only have to charge my phone once a day because I don't use it a ton. But I like this because this isn't in the way when I'm not using it. So if I want to use it, I can, but it's not like hurting anything. Like sometimes they have the plug and when you take the plug out, there's like a big hole in the pack that water could get inside. This is just a little tiny hole that really doesn't affect much. And I guess in theory, some water could get in there, but it does have a little flap that kind of goes over it on this side. So I, I actually really dig that. But overall, pretty happy with how much gear I can stow inside here. I wish the materials maybe were a little bit more durable, but I haven't had any issues with like holes or abrasions or anything like that. So, so far so good in that front. There are some pockets on this thing that feel just like a, they were just kind of thrown on because they could be. And that's not necessarily the end of the world, but sometimes they just don't really have a, a purposeful existence, I guess. Um, so like, I don't know, you saw some of the pockets and where they were placed, they just seem a little bit random. But again, I had things I could put in all of them. But then once you get to the main compartment, you probably are gonna want some organizers. I guess you could get by without them, especially if you use this little um, liner pocket on the back to secure some clothes and then put something in here as well. But overall, pretty happy with this thing for the price. You're not really gonna find a pack that has everything this pack offers for a similar price, especially considering I've I kind of put this thing through the ringer a little bit and it's still pretty durable. And I really like the small touches, like it's got this, um, the boot has a little bit more durability and water resistance. And as I said, there is, are a lot of pockets and sometimes they feel a little bit excessive, but most, a lot of them do have uses that at least I found a use for. So overall, pretty happy with it. It's not, you know, the holy grail end all be all backpack, but I really do like it. So there you have it, the Quechua NH Escape 500 backpack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.